Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Misty Mountain Games. I'm here with Ben Rasmussen. Were we live yet? No? Yeah, okay. we're live. Where? I don't know. Okay. I, I, professional, jumped, I, professional. I jumped all over Ben's intro. But Ben, go ahead. Uh, we we're here? here in Madison, Wisconsin at Misty Mountain Games for the pre-modern finals. Uh, we've got uh, Mike Gross versus Ian DeGraff. Ian's on uh, Stifle Knot and Mike's on Trade Win Survival. I'm pretty sure this is a win and ma- win and in match here. Um, Ian is three and one. His tiebreakers are a little rough, and Mike is two one and one. His tiebreakers are pretty good. Uh, so uh, we will see. Uh, we do know that uh, matches one, two, and three all did draw here. So we believe that this is a win and in here, along with table. Um, Who's playing at table four? Uh, you know, that's a great question, but I believe it was elves versus elves or something. Or maybe it was Sly versus Sly, and we had some complaints about too much Sly. So we're going to try right and do some uh, some, some more... Uh, I can look it up, um, but uh, that requires knowing how to get into your computer, and I'm not going to do that on air and ask you to tell me your password, so you should just type it. Wow. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's a very secure password and something that I, as somebody who works in IT, encourage all of you out there to do. Um, okay, so our standing... Mike's got a Birdo, turn one. Yeah, that's pretty was, much uh... how you draw it up every time with the survival deck. And... Yeah, it was Island elves versus elves in the uh, in the table next to him. And... Oh, is it Dylan? It's Dylan nice. versus the Andrew. So we got some elves in our top eight, probably. That's yeah, cool. it's be pretty hard not to be. Anyway, I apologize. Here we've got uh, Bird and uh, Island Go. So uh, I believe uh, we've got some City of Brass damage here, Mister. Uh... Mm-hmm. It's on What's you. It? You're in. Ch- you're in charge of the lights. City of Brass damage. Yeah, we're we're an organized professional team here. Well. We're at uh, 19, 18, and we, we had to cast it twice. So we've got... Uh, we'll do it on the right guy. Yeah. We've got... A phase coming in. And then he floated a mana for fun. Just to show he could. Days of survival. Yeah, yeah days of survival. What did he days of survival if he had a cradle? Well, see, so he had a, he paid two mana. To uh-huh. put it into play. Then there were two creatures in play. He tapped it. Oh. So there were no oh, extra mana. Oh. But backup survival. Well, we got more. That's why we play four. Yeah. You, that is why you play four. It's an important card. Okay, we've passed the turn. And we're going to go fetch land. He doesn't have any. Uh, I noticed he doesn't have your walls in his survival there. He didn't survive at the end of the turn. That is Does that mean he doesn't have creatures? Extremely interesting. Which could be true. Sometimes when he draws well, to survival, he yeah, he's creatures. Got, he's got, does have survival number three, though. You just run it out there now? I don't know. We're going to cast some. Four mana for a trade he win, win rider. Uh, next that one's up on your screen, as you can see. He has the option now to... So who um, is, who's trade win rider? That's Trade One Rider. What? Who's, oh. Who is Trade One Rider? See, it's, it's not a. It's not an invita- what card am I thinking of? It's water. It's front. not an invitation, though. No. Thinking there's a card in that time, but maybe I'm wrong. At any rate, uh, we've. Uh, I think this is going to count. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, I think if I Mike with a Cradle and a Survival in play. I don't play a trade one right there. Yeah. I'd Ooh. probably get, get my squee on and uh, get some more creatures in play. Get the trainer rolling on survival. Yeah. But, I mean, that trade one comes down, it's probably, that's probably it for, yeah. uh, certainly going to be bad news. The survival player for the trade, for the dreadnought player. Jeff Maricola is the reference photo for a trade one runner. It was a real person. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. He did. Uh, I knew that. John Matson was he lived in Milwaukee when this was going on? Right? Yeah. Yep. Used to be able. We used to joke that it was easier to get a signed trade one rider than an unsigned trade one rider in Wisconsin. <laughs> Makes sense. 
he was uh, John was one of the frequent uh, uh, artists that Steve Port would pull in for local yeah. events. For we should see if we can get him. Yeah, wonder if he's still around. Yeah, why doesn't he get the squee? Ben. I don't know, man. But also, he played two creatures, which implies that he probably had two creatures that turned after he played survival. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what right. Ian what's about. is going to play a mentally mage, and he's probably not going to name survival. I think he's probably going to name Cradle Rider. Yeah, um, that seems like a totally reasonable card to name. If he doesn't want this to, conti to continue, Mike's sitting on a nice six mana. Right he does now. have many minas. Taps for three. We're going to cast this, his other survival there. Nope, we're going to discard. Okay, we started the train. Wall of Blossoms. And this is always the, uh, the best part of any survival game. They finally have a bunch of extra mana. What do they do? Say so anything they want, it's going to happen now. Yeah. I think they have at least one copy. It's a little interesting that you wouldn't have like a copy or something of like a uh, root wall or root wall or something here. Yeah, I uh, from, especially with freebie. opposition. Yeah, some freebie. I love uh, I love playing root walls in survival decks. Yeah, I was just looking at it. And I was like, I should read this. I like all a root. Okay, he's got one mana floating here. Respect, I respect it. And then we're gonna cast Wall of Roots. That metal image is never getting through. That you know, Mr. Pakula is gonna hang out over there. He's gonna play defense and just tell whatever spell. That he Mike's can't. not gonna be able to tackle those walls for a while either, though. Oh, weird. I. You could get Rolling Stones though. And then it would, it would oh, yeah, yeah. Gush. Gush. Ian. Now I did hear Ian telling everyone in between rounds that Gush is the best spell in Primod. In all of Primod. In all of Primod. He believes it is. I believe his words were something like comical that it is not. Been. I don't know if that's entirely the case. Just that's... sounded like he was uh, dedicated to the cause. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Ian's got the survival off the board. We'll see. Probably. He does not know is that Mike is holding two. Yes. I think that was a. Yep. You have my ghost. This is around when bonehead that I am, I would accidentally play the survival into my hand before the one that my opponent knows about. <laughs> like I thought he was for a second there too. I was like, <laughs> okay, all right, uh, all right. A null. Two mana in the pool, though. Hey, how about that one? And Ian just slams his hand the on pool. the ground and go. Like, isn't that the third all, one? All that work. All that Totally work. undone. Yes. Yeah, Ian's pretty behind. I don't I don't see Ian getting out of this one. Yeah, this is looking pretty rough. Okay, we're discarding an anger. I want to be yeah. clear that anger is not doing anything. He's going to get the Granger, though. The the Granger Anger? Granger Anger? Anger Granger? GR Anger. GR all, Anger. All his cards end with Anger now. That's that's what that that's what that spell actually is. Okay. Um Granger Danger. All I know about Granger is there's a company in Wisconsin called Granger and they advertise during sports games. Okay. That's all I know. And you can buy, like, all kinds of stuff from them. Yeah, they, they advertise, like, I think they sell, sell or yeah. rent tools or They're something. They're like a supply company. Oh, kind of interesting. Thing. We're doing a great job advertising for them, too. 
Yeah, they live rent free in my head. That's sports for you. That's sports. Making room in your head for rent free items. Yeah. Anywho, uh, we're going to move to Ian's draw step here. And he's, he's got a lot of cards here, Ben. It's, it's true. Um, it might be because he's picked up three lands this game. Um, it's also why he only has I only see mana. one card in Mike's hand. I see lots of cards in Mike's hand. Yeah. I, I feel like, does, does Ian have the, the spell Wrath of God? Yep. Three impulse? Is that what that is? That does look like, well, there's one impulse. Are those vision charms? Oh, those are vision charms. He's stuck. Oh. Okay. Right, it's vision charm? I'm yeah. Sorry, okay. Okay, we've gushed. Oh, look at this. Floating two mana. Okay, he's going, he's definitely going for... Look at all those cards. You know, if you think he... Gush is better than Survival of Fittest? Do I? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely doesn't look that way to me. I want to be clear. I didn't say this thing. Gush. I mean, I don't know if it is. If Survival's better in the abstract anyway. Like, it's... it's sure. They're both quite good. Okay, we've got seven cards, and don't have to discard, which is really, that was the entire purpose of Ian's turn. We do have to pay Echo. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna think about things. I'm just gonna get this Squee Goblin Nabob back. Also, Mike has the best hair in the tournament. Yeah. 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 If he, gets his head, if he gets his head in here, you can kind of see he's got the spikes going. Yeah, it is. He is paying Echo. Paying Echo. Okay. There we go. We're going to go find some. Ooh. Everybody's favorite. This was a card. This is a card that PK and I both like a lot. I still do. I play this card a lot in pretty much more than most. I might. I think I might play more Genesis. Genesis than anybody else in pre-modern. I'm a big believer in this card. Okay. I loved it, you know, back in my, like, standard rock decks from 2005. Whenever this came out, I can't mm -hmm. really remember. Or even a survival deck. I mean, he's going to get all these trade ones back. Yeah. If he can cast them. Genocide. Yeah, maybe it's genocide. Genesis is. Genasis? That's no, different. That's, uh, that's totally different. No, so, playing too much D&D. &D, so. Okay, we're going to tap a bunch of mana here and cast. Oh, look, it's a trade wind rider. What is, what is Meddling Mage on? I don't know. Uh, Swords to plowshares, excuse me, um, has been cast here. I'm Mike, I just bounced back to my hand here. He's there like, go. Oh, I've got anger. Thank you very much. As you can see, my creatures have peace. Indeed. <laughs> hmm. Well, uh, we're spending a lot of time. Okay. But the way does appear. Our life total changed there. Ian is down to 15. Yeah. He did get attacked. I think. Strangely, he didn't want to trade his meddling mage for a 2 1. But watch out now. Oh, he could have attacked. No. Man. I was hoping he would just send a message. I mean, he gets him down to 13, and that's one point away from yeah. a single uh, Dreadnought shot. It's a lucky number, 13. I don't know if... Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is... I just don't even see how he wins this game. You know, okay, so let's construct a... Does he have Wrath? I think it starts with Wrath. He does not have Wrath. Okay, well, if he doesn't have Wrath of God, I... 
I gotta tell you, I, I don't... I'm, he doesn't have a Chroma's Vengeance. He doesn't have... <laughs> Chroma's Vengeance would be even better. But... Okay, we've got a Counterspell. Ian's Graveyard turning into an in-play zone. Well, it appears to That's have not... cast oh. Drage Hermit, and not Hermit, it's going to concede. Okay, I will encourage the players to tell to put a little note on what their what their uh, Chris Pakula is on. Meddling Mage, that's the actual name of the card. It's Chris Pakula. That one is definitely Chris Pakula. We're going to go to sideboard now, um, and I guess. we can just watch him sideboard. Ooh. Okay, so over here... A wire with Symbiote there? Yeah. That's, that's pretty sweet. Got another Hermit. <laughs> Ian is bringing in I didn't realize you had actually entered one, two, three, four, five earlier and not gotten in. Yeah, I'm sorry. I uh I told you my secret code earlier. Yeah, he he did. Um I plan on robbing BK blind you enough. Appreciate my security so much that you forgot it. Yeah, it's true. I, I just didn't even put it in my brain. Okay, what? Where is? Might be on the next page. Uh, or, or you know, we could. Uh, it's 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 just he doesn't have his name entered in. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. 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 So Ian has some blue elemental blasts. Those are probably not. Curse totem. Curse totem. Really totem. Yeah, that sounds like a card. Um, I would not win her orb against this. Dis deck. Disenchant. Seems, seems like Jan two fun thing. Powder keg. Powder keg. It, void mage prodigy. You want to get some Kai in here? Yeah. Kai and Kai Bude and Chris Bakula fighting side by side. Yeah. One one is a powerful mage and the other is Chris Bakula. Oh. Um, oh, Chris is listening right now. Sorry about that, Chris. To be fair, Chris's <laughs> invitational card is much better. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I did. Right. I, I did listen. I think uh, was it was Chris on uh, the Humans of Magic podcast recently? I think I saw that come up in my uh, my feed. I don't. Know. Yeah. I don't listen to podcasts. I don't. I, never, I always forget to. Well, I'm like ninety percent certain I saw that come through. Uh, at any rate, uh, we've got uh, the actual current players here um, are likely taking out on uh, Ian's side here. Probably not going to continue to play with. What do we think here? Wait, except for Spike Colony. I listen to Spike Colony. Spike. Colony. The, that's a that's the Mike Flores, Lanny Huang, um, pre modern. Oh, wow! Well, Very good. I, should add that to my list. Um, I don't know though. Lan told me that that we didn't start the fire was like his fourth favorite song, with a reference to Joe DiMaggio in it. And I just got to tell you that we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> well, I mean it's it's no Mrs. Robinson. Yeah, you I mean admit. that was the first one he thought of. He's just been texting me every like three weeks since i sang that at karaoke tell, <laughs> remembering another song that referenced joe dimaggio uh in it and uh -huh. lining it right on down the list so anyway i'm gonna move uh to actually try to commentate on this match versus our nonsense inside baseball stuff here uh mike here let's take a look at his sideboard mike's sideboard Oh, he's got a spicy one of fun ofs as you can with the uh um survival of the fittest deck so he could bring in Ooh, this recurring nightmare it's kind of interesting um i think i saw him put a drain another drain tournament in there bet he brings in three naturalized and three natalie that's my prediction those would be good um i, like, I dig the mana leaks that's that's a cool idea for this deck yeah. What else are we? They never expected. That's a, probably true. A bird just hanging out there and 
Wirewood symbiote maybe coming in here. I don't know. Spore frog. You get spore frog genesis lock. The the uh, dreadnought. Day. Yeah. That won't get stifled ever. No way. Seems unlikely. Uh, I don't know. His opposition. I mean, he just doesn't need his oppositions. Opposition's great against them. Opposition in any creature is like pretty hard for Dread not to beat. Sure, but it's hard to get. I mean, maybe it's fine. I mean, he's all mana. I I think I think opposition's great in this matchup. Sure, that's fair. One or especially because he constrains himself by returning his own land. Uh huh. Okay. I mean, I mean, it's, I don't even think it's about blocking the amount of mana, though. It's like it's as much just like their threat can't ever do anything. Yeah, you only need one creature to lock down their big guy. Okay. And you you can actually lock them out as well. So. Yeah. Okay, we've got Island Green Ranger. Ranger. One of my all time favorites. You're in a forest, untap a creature. Let's check it out. Okay, got a cursed totem. It no longer has text. Boo. One, one. No, no. That's not. That is not Quarian Ranger. Oh, I'm sorry. There you that go. That is Quarian Ranger. Put a wall of roots. And Ian also is does nothing. stuck on two lands here. Wait, does Wall Roots work because it's a mana ability? It does not work. Okay. Nothing works. It's always interesting to look at the different design philosophies here. Did Green the Ranger old... not attack Western? Uh, he lost all its abilities. I guess. Um, why is oh that's a cradle? Okay. So this Ranger is kind of important, I think. Two one. Well, I mean, Mike doesn't have any access to any other mana, you know, and um, yeah. Getting the mountain in play could be good. I guess it's getting an island. Uh, kind of what's kind of informs me that an opposition might be in his hand. That's, that does seem likely. He doesn't have any other stuff that cares about that. Uh, can't see. Okay. Um, well, he drew Ian drew land three here. Got double wastes now. And he's got, he, went, he brought in a Hormon script there. Let's see? Stop the uh, he didn't attack again? anger. Yeah, I don't know why we're not attacking. I'm... Mike, come on, Mike. Get your beats on. Look, if he loses, if Ian ends this game at two life, he's going to be very upset. Uh, well, I'm going to walk right out there and tell him, you know, okay. after the match. He remembered this time. Okay. Uh, well, okay. So he just, over, Ian. what he needed to do was just have another creature to attack with mm -hmm. so that he could think about it. Okay. I think Mike's probably, if he does have the opposition. Multi, that's Mana Leak is one of those cards, so. Okay. Well, I was going to say, it's very wise for him to wait anyway, though, because. Yeah, you want to be able to battle he, through the mana. He, Ian's the one who has to do something at this point. Yeah. So you just want to wait for him to drop, drop but, the defenses. Is emblematic of you know pre-modern versus kind of current formats. You know we're beating down for three here, so Ian can wait a few turns where you know that probably wouldn't be possible in current Magic. You'd, nah, you get three. Can you imagine living through three turns with three creatures of play on the side? Yeah, yeah, it is. not not a thing. Not a thing. Um, we're gonna think a little bit because he's got a hermit here, so no, I, I gets that out. That is a lot of mana. I mean, he's got mana leak backup. That's pretty darn good. Okay. Um, tapping for five manners and hermit. And Ian's hand is 
not full of counter spells. I see a foil and a gush. Yeah. But compared to what his his deck could have, he's got multiple swords of plowshares, a Tormod's crypt, a gush, a foil, and I can't recognize that other card. Days. Days. Okay, well, we got some squirrels. Four of them in particular. And uh, we're going to battle. This cradle has officially popped off. Truth, truth. The question is here, is he going to even bother to pay for the icon? Turns out a Swords of Plowshares makes that a not, not great idea. I mean... Gets the swords out of his hand, right? <laughs> that's, that's fair. I'm it's... okay. All right, let's see what you can put together to get out of this. He's gonna start with a gush. Like I said, the man thinks the card's uh, too good, so he's gonna do it. Although it's not as good when you draw into what he just drew. It. Okay, so we're gonna play one of these lands back. And we're casting that Tormod's Crypt. Convert to have the discard, I suspect, here. Not the 12 12 we were hoping for. Yeah. Um, okay. What else do we do? Um, let's see. And thinking, thinking, okay, he's decided the swords to flash shares. Swords in. He's, okay, he's just like, screw it. I won't gonna... let you pay Echo. I'll give Mike Fent, um, mana leak there because Ian was floating two mana. Fair. I think he just drew the stifle this turn. Okay. Going upkeep, not gonna, not gonna pay. Can't pay. Not allowed. Doesn't have to. Okay, so now we're thinking. I think those are vision tricks. Oh, maybe they're. Yeah, well, I can't. Uh, okay, we're thinking here. We've got a. We drew an elf. Um. I don't know, these guys look like they want to turn sideways. That'd be my first course of action. Maybe, maybe I tap for mana and do something, but I probably just... There you go. Coming in, coming in hot. I suspect we're going to prevent one damage by... No? Apparently not. Okay. Uh, seven? Taking seven. Pretty agrees on our life totals here. Guessing that makes it 621. Remember to update. And, okay, all right. Okay, post combat. Elf. Find for an elf. Okay, I think that was a Pakula. Holy Pakula. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be one creature against seven. I don't think that's enough. That would be. Well, my gross winning through the curse totem never even never even thought about it. it. Yeah, just was and like, uh, Ian unable to defeat Mike here. Mike, uh, it's gonna be hoping now for um, the breakers to work out for him. He was two one and one coming into this round, so. Oh. You won one. Pretty Probably like, pretty good. Pretty likely to be in. I think he had actual, his breakers were okay. Um, let's take a look and see if we can actually figure out what our top eight probably looks like here. Do a quick little talk about that and then come back for statements. Okay, so we know that Ethan, uh, I don't know how to pronounce Ethan's last name. Ethan Pollinger? Pollinger? Ethan Pollinger? Yeah. Uh, Michael Phillips, Phillips, excuse me, Caleb Durward, and Aaron Dix are all for sure in. 
believe Peter McGrain. Played Goblins, Enchantress, uh, Black Light Control, and, and Sly. Sly. Peter McGrain also on Sly and Patrick Hathaway on Dead Guy Ale, likely also in. They believe they drew. And then lastly, um, we have, oh, we've got, I believe, Mike's significant other in our chat here. Um, at, at any rate, uh, Holly Gray, you think they're related? Maybe. Seems likely. I, I don't want to. Pres- welcome to the chat, Holly. Yes, welcome to the chat. Uh, we've got uh, Mike on the win there in his tiebreakers work. A little rough. So uh, Andrew and Dylan both on elves at the seven eight match. Uh huh. They uh they likely are playing. They were play- they had to play before this, um and I don't know if they have reported. It. Man, that's a good thing I wasn't in the booth because I might have pushed for the elf mirror. That's pretty. I don't think I've ever watched one on a oh. in a stream weirdly enough and like i can't even remember the last time i saw it i was playing against each other in the storm i don't even know what happens or what's important um let's see here in round five. oh sister My sister there you go okay. okay well they actually drew so they're they're living the on okay. they're on tiebreaker Central. So Mike here is going to cross his fingers, hope that his breakers was Ian uh three one or Ian was three one or two one one. He was three. Okay. So, so Ian, Ian was, a was cl- in with a win, and Mike, Mike was uh quite maybe... possibly knocked out even with a win. Yeah, if, we're if, not sure. So if the elves grew, yes, and they did. So um, let's see. Let's see what happens. Fellow store owner Jeff Green was victorious this round. He had not oh, done yeah. a lot of victorine so far today. Yeah, but... he told me he had a rough day with stasis. Um, also, pre modern connoisseur Mr. William Hurst won as well in our lower rounds or lower tables, I should say. So, um, I believe uh, we will come back uh, for top eight here. Um, uh, that is it for me. However, Brian and Mike will take you through the top eight, and uh, we will talk to you all later. Yeah, stay tuned, and we'll have some uh, championship pre-modern magic. Turn up our top eight. Sounds good. How do you end this? I don't know. I don't press buttons. I think we change scenes. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna mute ourselves at the very least. So um, there you go. Yeah, no, well, that's the commentator scene. You can show us. Slideshow. Slideshow. There we go. Oh, that one. Stream BRB. There we go. That seems good. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.